concerned about that being a post-game celebration, but I was, I've was i just been ecstatic about from the start that I was able to have this honor with Hakeem. You know, two guys that played together, um, had incredible chemistry together, won together, lost together, uh, but left everything on the floor together. So, you know, to be kind of core pieces in a national championship and then have two extra years after that to play with one another, you know, the, the most special thing for me was that I got to go in with the team. I know you had a couple other offers out of high school. What ultimately made you choose Syracuse? The distance didn't hurt. You know, the distance didn't hurt of how easy a ride it is from, from Scranton, PA to here. But it, was, it boiled down to relationship. You know, uh, I had a great relationship with Coach. I had a great relationship with Mike Hopkins. Uh, and I made the trip a couple times and the familiarity with the place and uh, their vision for me, what I felt like was going out and in, in the year that I was going to be coming in. And, um, you know, Mel and I had committed within like two weeks of each other. So a uh, pretty good stretch of, of commitments. And, uh, you know, it was just a special place. place. I knew it from the first time I stepped in the building. Jerry, uh, just a couple questions. What, what were the emotions like when it actually happened and you got to see your jersey raise up there and just uh, all the Syracuse or the Scranton people up here in Syracuse? I mean, it, it really seemed like the playing days. Bust loads of people up there. What's that support? Yeah, it was great. It seemed like 2006. You know, it was almost like a senior night deal. And, I, I was nervous I was going to get emotional. I was. I, Quadir Copeland was telling me, he kept saying, stay gangster, coach, stay gangster on me. And he said that when they when they announced it and surprised me before practice. You know, coach, don't get emotional. So um, when he, I actually, when Akeem, they showed the video of Akeem is when I got the most emotional. And uh, by the time I came around and after hearing him speak and, you know, just the environment in terms of all my teammates being here, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a remarkable day. It's, it's a day I'll never forget. When you were playing at any point, was this a possibility to you, or was this something that you thought about? No, you know, it's not something you think about. Uh, I think the fact that, you know, I had a good career, but the fact that I was always going to be tied to that first year in the national championship, you know, that's such a special, unique situation. Um, you know, to, to, for us not to have been with one another as a full group for 20 years and then have the night we had last night rewatching the game and then having, you know, drinks and toasts and, and just... You know, we were back, you know, we were back to, to 20 years ago, like we never left telling stories. It was just such an incredible night. Um, but you never think of that. You know, it's, it was never on my mind as a player. It was just always about winning. And, um, and I'm proud of, the, of my career because that's all I stood for. I just wanted to win. And, uh, you know, if you, if you leave it out there and lay it on the line, whatever happens, happens. Jared, did it feel like, you know, a game like back in the day with the spring, you know, all the spring community coming up, was the atmosphere?